I'm Robin Mitchell and this is Maker.io. In today's special episode, we're going to be looking at... <laughs> Try again. Hello, I'm Robin Mitchell and this is Maker.io. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the Raspberry Pi to control a DC fan using PWM. So let's see how it works. While we're not going to talk about the size behind PWM signals in this video, all that you do need to know is that the power of a device can be controlled using a PWM signal. So in our Raspberry Pi program, which is written in Python, all we do is simply use one of the GPIO pins as a PWM source so that we can then send this PWM signal to a PWM converter circuit, which can then control the power of a fan. And if we look at the schemic schematic, you'll also see that we have a single transistor controlling a MOSFET, which then controls the actual fan. Now the PWM signal from the Raspberry Pi is only between zero and 3.3 volts, which is not useful for driving the MOSFET. So to improve this driving capability, we use a 2N390 transistor to act as a buffer. But there's a slight catch. This buffer is in an inverting configuration. That's why we use the 100 minus duty cycle in our program so that we get a duty cycle that matches with the fan speed such that a duty cycle of 100 in the program gives us the fastest fan speed. To learn more about PWM signals and the Python program, read the article that goes with this video. So thank you for watching this video and see you next time. 